Hey everyone, my name is Jackie Jess and welcome to the sixth episode of my PSA missions on Club Bang Rewritten. Today we'll be attempting to do the sixth mission, which is questions for a crab. Now I do not have anything to say before this mission, so I think we'll just get straight into it and see how we go. Um, last mission was Secret of the Fur, where we found that there was well, there were two creatures. So there's, there's Herbert and there's Kotzi. So let's ask the crab that we captured last mission. <laughs> okay. Questions for a crab. Mission. Your efforts in discovering the secret of the fur have not gone unnoticed. The PSA is looking for more answers and G needs your help. He's ready to question the crab. Meet him in the gadget room to get started. Okay, start mission. Here we go. Okay, we can see uh, the crab, which we know his name is Kotzi, um, in the cage over there, and a crab translator. That's, that's pretty cool. Let's ask G something. Hello, Agent. I'm glad you could come. I'm all set to ask the crab you captured a few questions. Are you ready to start? Thanks for waiting, G. Yes, let's ask him some questions. This machine uh, should be able to translate the crab's clicking. Let's get started. Okay. It's clicking. Yes. Please speak clearly into the mic. Oh, okay. He just broke the microphone, I think. No, he just, he just clicked too loud. Whoa! It just exploded. No way. And he's escaped. Click him, click him, click him. Oh, no. What the heck? How do I, uh... Oh wow, he's just he's just bolted. Okay. Oh bother, the crab is getting away. Quick agent, follow the follow and catch him while I fix up this mess. Are you sure? Shouldn't I help? <laughs> um Now I have noticed that um after coming I like to do my missions um as a surprise. I have noticed that I've missed a couple of secret missions inside of missions itself. So I'm going to click everywhere. This is Roll 3000, G's coffee machine. It makes a great cup of coffee. Uh, was also to say, but there's no time for that right now. Yeah, we have to go. We have to go, man. Um, there he is. He's going out into the um, to the gift shop, I think. Okay, let's follow him. I think my main my main objective is just to follow him. I can't really pick up anything on the way. Oh, he's up to the ski hill. Now, a there's um there's a couple penguins I know. I've actually. <laughs> I've done my club penguin study. <laughs> so basically, I'm doing a puffles series on my channel where I talk about the blue puffle. And this guy owns a blue puffle. His name is Bernie, I bet. His name is Bernie. Did you see that? Yes, I think I did. Oh, hello. Did you see a crab coming up this way? Yes, we did. We saw a crab jump on the hills, uh, jump on the ski lift and go up the hill. What a strange sight, a crab using a ski lift. Next thing you know, crabs will be wearing clothes and eating pizza. Now, now, let's not get crazy. I once saw a house fly. Did it have wings? I think I can just click. I, I can just keep clicking on them. <laughs> I once saw a catfish. Did it catch anything? I once saw a fish bowl. Did it manage to get a strike? I once saw an earring. Did it answer? Did he answer it? Oh my gosh, these jokes are quality. Okay, and they just keep repeating them, I think. Okay, before I go up to the ski hill, let's see what rooms I can access. Oh wow, it's just the ski village. Okay, cool. Let's let's just for um the crab up the ski hill. There they go. Let's four them. Whoa, whoa, we're going <laughs> Okay, so we're just rolling down hill. Yep, okay, cool. Oh, that's very disorientating. Wow. Oops, you seem to have lost your map in the fall. Oh no, not like this not like this uh mission two was it? Mission uh, Gary's secret mission. No, not like this. It's a maze, no. Okay, I, I feel like there's something under that, but maybe not. Um, okay, so obviously there are multiple ways to go, but I kind of just want to follow Klutzy or the crab. We shouldn't name him at the moment. Um, there he goes. I'm wondering if there's like a secret thing I could do, you know, because there's always a secret mission. I'm just wondering if there's like a place I could go to get uh, the extra reward. Okay, so it appears that Klutzy is going into this cave area, which we were in last time. This pet door is too small for a penguin to fit through it. Okay. We need some way to open it. So let's go investigating. I think this is the way back to the mirror. Not the mirror, the river. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So the fish comes out of here. Yeah, it looks icy cold. Yep, you're correct. Let's look around and see if we can pick anything up. 
Might be something in the trees somewhere. I'm not really sure. Okay, can't do anything with the log. Looks like someone picked all the O berries off this bush. Yeah, I'm trying to see if there's any more left. Aha! This puffle seems vaguely familiar and looks hungry. Yeah, I, I've seen them before. I don't know. Do I have puffle berries? I'm trying to look for some puffle berries. Want to feed the? Uh, Want to feed the puffle? Oh wow! What the heck? It's like a trap, like a uh, last mission. I'm trying to think. Do I, do I use my scissors? Because anything with a rope, I just get my scissors out and test it. Yep, there we go. I don't really know why they were uh, hung up like that. It's kind of weird. Okay, can I can I extract? Oh wow, I can. Cool. So uh, yeah, we've got a puffalo berry. Let's head back to the black puffalo over here and give that to him. There he goes. And is he gonna fire around? No, no, no. Okay, he's just he's just my friend now. I think he he wants to follow me. Okay, cool. Yep, I've made a friend. So I'm actually going to go back to the um the door and let's see if we can get this puffle in there could work oh wow okay that's what I had to do are you kidding me let's follow the puffle in oh well okay okay I'm in a I'm in a cage well 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 what do we have here Kotzi why it looks like we've caught a nosy little bird snooping around a cave how interesting oh no he's got my spy phone it appears to have brought us a gift how kind who are you? What do you want? Hey, give that back. Let me out of here. Do your... So you're the one who's been causing all the trouble. I think I'll go for the more chill option. Guilty as charged. Have you enjoyed my handiwork? You must be the one who's been following all my plans. I must say you're a clever bird to have tracked me down. Not really. You must be very curious about what I am, what I am doing here on your cold, miserable little island. I'm more than curious. Polar bears aren't supposed to live in clubbing. Actually, not really. I'm just here to stop you. <laughs> what should I do? Um, I'll just be like, oh, mean and stuff. Haha, <laughs> well then. Allow me to formally introduce myself. Oh, okay. My monologue version 7 extended cut. I'm Herbert P. Bear. Why are you telling me this, dude? Esquire. Formerly of the Arctic Circle. Okay. And now a prisoner of the frozen snow ridden landscape you call home. You made a flip chart. I really want to ask this, but I don't want to like skip any important information. The Arctic Circle? But that's thousands of miles away. How'd you get here? I, I kind of want to say both. I'm going to do the flip chart. Don't interrupt. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. <laughs> I left my cold and dis dismal home how, uh, many months ago on an iceberg. It was a dangerous move, but I knew it was the only way to fulfill my greatest dream. Do you know what that dream was, or is? I have a feeling you're about to tell me. <laughs> to tell, uh, to find somewhere warm to live, somewhere sunny and hot, with sandy beaches and fresh fruit growing everywhere. Okay. I was sick and tired of freezing every day, so I leapt onto an iceberg and never looked back. But how did you wind up here? How did you survive all those months at sea? I like the second one. I survived quite comfortably on kelp and algae, actually. A little salty, but delicious nonetheless to a vegetarian like me. You're a vegetarian. Right. And whenever I got thirsty, I melted some uh, melted some stone from the iceberg. What? But then it would have gotten smaller and smaller. I floated adrift and alone for days. Then weeks. Then months. Oh, man. The weather did get warmer, but there was no sign of land anywhere. Oh, he slept through. Oh, no. At last, when I had almost given up hope, I spotted an island in the distance. I rode with all my might, trying to reach it, but to my horror, I realized that it was covered in snow, too. You have found Club Penguin? Yeah! Okay, I would have thought you'd be happy to be on dry land again. Yeah, be grateful, dude. I was doing my best to row away. Oh, to row away, but then my iceberg tipped. I was cast into the treacherous waters, helpless, unable to swim. Wait, you can swim? <laughs> Um, I don't know which one I should ask. How should I know? Icebergs aren't supposed to tip. I have no idea how it happened. Well, we all know that icebergs can actually tip. Um, I thought for certain that I was done for, but before I slipped beneath the waves, I was saved by the most unlikely of heroes. Klotzi, the little crab you captured, heard my cries and came to, risk, uh, to rescue. Being a helpful fellow, Klotzi offered to accompany me. However, my iceberg floated away and took with it my greatest dream. 
I was stuck, stranded in a strange land that was even colder than my old home. Wow. After exploring a short while, I came upon a strange and noisy place, filled with unusual little birds wearing silly clothes. These penguins, I discovered, were quite strange. They couldn't fly, lived in igloos, and seemed to enjoy the cold. The way they played in the snow was so irritating. I found myself disliking them more and more each day. These little friends of yours bug me. After being at sea for so long, they were the last thing I wanted to find, but I'm going to do something about it. I've given up on ever finding a warm place to live, so I shall do the next best thing. What's that? You've thought about this for some time, eh? Nah, I like the topic. Using your own technology and the resources you were so kind to leave lying around, I have built a mechanical wood chopper. With it, I will chop your cozy little ski lodge into a hundred pieces and build a humongous bonfire that will keep me warm for weeks. But that's it? That's such, That's so temporary. Once the wood is gone, I'll come back for another building, and another after that. Well, yeah, and then you'll there'll be no buildings left. But why chop down the ski lodge? There are lots of trees in Cold Penguin. That mine is crazy. Why would you do such a thing? I'll do that. I like I said, like I said, you penguins bug me. We're using your ski lodge out to put a damper on your constant noisy parties. I guess now I'll be warm and have peace and quiet. Whoa! How did that get in there? Um. Oh no. Now, if you excuse me, I have an appointment with the ski lodge. Any parting words, my foul friend? You'll never get away with this. <laughs> Please seduce me, and the PSA might go easy on you. Please show there is some other way. I'll just say that. I'm afraid I've quite made up my mind. Farewell for now. Sit tight. I may even consider letting you go when I return with the wood. Let's go, Klotzy. Bruh. He just destroyed his flipbook thing that took him a while to make. Well, my puffle's still here, so I can just try and work out things with him. You can't reach anything trapped inside this cage. Okay, so I have to try and like lure him, maybe? Can I Can I do that? Can I do this? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, it's a big cage. Oh, I didn't, I didn't realize that. Is there anything I can do? Oh, wow, this looks, this looks interesting. Some sort of machine. Cage lift. I'll just keep feeding him puffalo berries until like he does something. <laughs> Maybe he'll jump to it. Oh, oh! I didn't even realize that. Okay, it worked. It worked. So you can go up there. What about here? Oh. Okay, that kind of worked. Maybe back here. No, so it's just pouring water out. Oh, yep. Just keep clicking. That's how you do it. Okay, now I can put the black puffle on this platform. That will release the water, and I'm in. Oh, I'm out, technically. Yeah, okay, cool. So I'm out of the cage. Um, Let's go straight to the door. I'm wondering, you never know, there could be like a secret thing I could pick up. Yes, okay, cool. I picked up this uh, anchor, I, I think. <laughs> Um, screw, spring, rope. Hey, yep. Just keep picking things up. Broken machine. Hot sauce. Yes. Okay, cool. I got a map as well. I didn't even mean to pick this up. What about this map? A very crude map of Cop Angle. Okay, yeah. So it looks like where he's going to go. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> there is a big uh, pile of snow blocking the door. Well. I know from experience, this, wait, doesn't he like react to it? Does, can't he like heat it? Maybe if I, oh, a spicier berry. Okay, I see what's gonna happen. Yep, he's gonna, he's gonna go crazy now. Yep, okay, let's see if it actually smokes. Uh, let's see if it actually melts. Wow, okay, wow, that was a, the accuracy though. Hot sauce and O berries seem to be a dangerous combination. Yes, very true. <laughs> Let's try and see if we can find that little puffle. I don't know where he went. I don't know if there's anything else I can pick up. I think he just disappeared. Okay, can't pick up this. And I think I can try and climb that wall. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I've got a bunch of climbing equipment now, don't I? Okay. 
Maybe if I combine this. Hey, it's actually working. Nice. Oh, wow. It all works out in the end. Okay, cool. Let's get up on the ski hill once again. Okay, he's probably out here. Oh, yeah, he is. Hey, there he is. Uh, I guess I'll just click on him. Blasted. I can't think straight on an empty stomach. I need brain food. Okay. Um, does he want a puffalo berry? All those frozen berries and snow cones have given me a brain freeze. I need a hot and spicy seaweed pizza. Curse is cold. Bro, he's very specific. Hello there. Hello, welcome to the pizza parlor. What can I get you for you? <laughs> I want a seaweed pizza. One vegetarian seaweed pizza coming up. Hey, because he said vegetarian, am I right? Okay, cool. Let's see if there's anything else he wants. Uh, is there anything I can get you? No, I'm good, thanks. Okay, now that we've got the pizza, let's head into the ski lodge and try and, I guess, feed Herbert? <laughs> I don't really know. Well, what do you know? A pizza. Some foolish penguin must have dropped it. Find his keepers. Alright, a seaweed pizza, perfect for a vegetarian like me. Looks like Herbert's broken wood chopping machine. Ah, uh, that's why these pesky penguins like pizza so much. Feel much better now. So I just, I just flicked the switch. Aha, I think I see what's wrong with this machine. That fixes it. Alright, let's see um, onward. Hey, I put him backwards. Okay, that's what I did. Oh, and he fell into a lake. <laughs> right. Righty up. Oh, there, there he goes. Anis G, where did you come from? Or agent, I heard some commotion and came to see if I could lend a hand. But it looks like you have uh, everything under control. Yes. Oh, wait, hold on. I want to give you the map. Hello? I think this is for you. Raw, you wrecked my machine and my plans. Mark my words, this isn't the end. Raw. What? How did I get my phone back? I'm so confused. Well, that was interesting. I look forward to hearing about all of this in your report did you find anything interesting in journey yes i recovered your plans for the magnet from the bear's hideaway the bear has a secret hideout in the wilderness psa should investigate now bring hot sauce and puffalo berry blah, blah. i think i'll do this it's more important our excellent work agent may i have them back no no nah, here you go thank you agent i shall have to be careful in the future i never imagined my plans could cause so much trouble Superb job, Agent. You managed to locate the bear's den and stop him from any real damage um, uh, before any real damage was done. I'm sure we'll be contacting you again soon. Whoa! <laughs> There's the puffle goes by again. Okay, cool. That's it for the mission, I think. A okay. And I think we did all the um, required mission things. As a reward for finishing the mission, you get a medal of excellence. Okay, I'll get that medal. Mission 6 medal, awesome. You have also been reissued another spy phone to replace the one that you lost. Get gift, the magnet blueprints. Would you like to pick it up? Yes, I would. End mission. We are done. Another mission. Six missions down. Okay, guys. Let's check out the awards I just got. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Golden box medal. Awarded for thinking outside of the box when locating the polar bear and thwarting his plans. Nice. Okay, and what about this one? Electromagnet 1000. Let's see what this says. Dear Agent, thanks for retrieving the blueprints for my Electromagnet 3000. As a way of showing my appreciation, here's a copy of the blueprints to the Electromagnet 1000, the prototype of the 3000 model. Secret Agent G. Okay, okay, that's pretty cool. I'm going to translate this when I'm editing, so I'll show you what that means. Wow, okay, that mission was very fun. I enjoyed that, like, a lot. Okay, so, uh, if you enjoyed it as well, please uh, leave a like and subscribe if you're new. But anyways, guys, that is it for me today, so I'll see you all in the next video.